Hey guys, welcome back. So hello friends. Um, I am in the mood for some plus size fashion and some try-ons. So we're gonna go inside the dressing room today. Um, and hello. Hi, I should have said hi before. Hi, my name is Sarah. <laughs> Um, and if this is your first time, I make lots of these plus size fashion videos. I also make what's for dinner videos, cook with me videos, clean with me videos, day in the life videos, mom videos, beauty videos. I think that's it. Um, kid video, I don't know, I make a lot of stuff. So if those are topics that interest you, I'd love if you stuck around. Um, and yeah, so today though, we are going to focus on plus size fashion. I haven't, I feel like I haven't been able to do as many plus size fashion videos lately just because this time of year is like crazy with back to school and just transitional periods, you know what I'm saying? But I found some time today, so we're going to go to Old Navy. Now, when I, last time I did Inside the Dressing Room at Old Navy was last summer. I feel like Old Navy does summer clothing just really, really well. They do a lot of really great cuts and styles and like very classic, like all American vibe to me. I really love their like summer fashion. For me, their fall and winter, at least for the adults, um, I love their kids stuff, but I don't necessarily love the adult wear. I'm going to try it again this, uh, fall and winter and see in case, you know, I'm just totally wrong. But Old Navy recently, not super recently, but like started doing like a whole plus size line and I think in store, whereas before I think it was only online and I think it's expanded. So we're going to go test it out. I actually normally don't wear the plus size at Old Navy. I am a pretty true 16 and I normally just fit in like the extra large to the 2X um, in the straight sizing. So we're gonna try things out and just kind of see how the plus size cut runs. From my experience, I feel it definitely runs more in like the women's to misses versus like the junior plus kind of vibe. So it is cut a little bit bigger. Um, and so we're just gonna see. We'll see if it like flatters a shape better um, than like a XL or double X would be in straight sizes. Cause I find normally with a lot of plus size lines, even though you can technically fit in like the straight sizes, uh, the plus size are made to flatter plus size body. So I'm hoping that's the case. I'm eating a couple of goldfish before I get in. <laughs> Having a quick snack. Um, but they're freaking Toy Story ones. So I got like Woody and Buzz over here. And I'm drinking an iced coffee and just enjoying my day without children. So um, in my last video, it's my day in life video. Go watch it if you haven't already. Um, I talked about like when I don't have my kids in my car that I just listen and blast and sing at the top of my lungs my like old high school music. And it is the most therapeutic cathartic experiences and right now I'm just eating goldfish and having iced coffee and you know you take for granted a lot of things in life before kids I would have been like man I'm bored like I just I want to talk to somebody or yada 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 and now I'm like this is the best day ever okay enough of me gabbing let's go inside and try on clothes <laughs> share with you the shirt that I'm wearing um, as well as its counterpart if you will um, these are both from thread tank and they this isn't sponsored they just sent me these two shirts I love them I've gotten so many compliments on them thread tank is a part about just being your story and creating memories and I love that these shirts do that and they tell a part of who you are thread tank is um, trying to be inclusive they are empowering and sustainable and I love that about the company these shirts are amazing they're amazing quality they're super cute there's tons to choose from from being female empowerment from just being kind from being a mom just stay to live in they have toddlers and men's highly recommend you checking them out I love them so much I've gotten so many compliments like I said I will leave the links to them below 
Okay, so the first item I want to show you is this really beautiful deep mustard, kind of almost camel, but not quite there, colored blouse. This totally made me think of fall, so I had to jump right on it and try it on. They did have it in a bunch of other different prints and patterns if this wasn't your jam, but the only thing I did not like was how much, like, armpit, <laughs> for lack of better words, that it showed. I just don't feel super comfortable with that part of my body. Just felt like it was really exposing. It also um, showed my bra really easily. I would have to wear like a cardigan or a jacket over this if I got it, but I felt like it would just take away a lot of like what really made it really cute and unique. Um, and it wasn't an extra large. As you can see, there's still some billowiness and flowiness and extra fabric there, so it did fit um, and with a little bit on the big side. But this was $34.99. I would say this at the end, but all of Old Navy's clothes seem to have considerably gone up in prices. Now, this next shirt was really cute, but it was pretty basic. Like, it wasn't anything that was, like, incredibly unique and I felt like I had to get. Um, I will say that it was nice and lightweight, so it was perfect for the weather now, but I felt like it'd be a really good transition for, like, fall time when you wanted to put a, like, jacket on or a, like, cardigan or something like that. Um, but it just, I don't know. I don't know, it just, it wasn't anything spectacular, and the price was outrageous. I know Old Navy has a lot of sales, but even with their sales, I feel like you're not getting that good of a deal. Like, I think this is easily something you could find at Walmart, and to be honest with you, I feel like you would like it better at Walmart. Um, I do also feel like it was relatively short and just kind of boxy, but this was $32.99. It just was crazy to me. Um, I did, however, love this dress. One thing that I think Old Navy does really well are their swing dresses. I think that they fit the body really well. Almost every single body type I've seen looks really good in this type of dress, and Old Navy, like, totally nails it on the head. Hits the nail on the head. This one I liked especially because it was ribbed. I love the stripes and the colors that they chose. It totally make me, made me think of, like, Sadie from Stranger Things in this. I loved it. I thought it was really comfortable. I love the swaying and flowiness of this. Totally, once again, a really awesome transition piece for fall. I am in the fall mode, guys, so you will see that throughout this whole video. Um, but I think this is really good for that, and I actually really liked this. Now, if this went on sale, I would totally buy it, but for $34.99, again, I just feel like it was a little overpriced. Now, this thing. <laughs> I laugh so hard because I feel like I look like Big Bird. Um, on camera, I feel like it actually didn't look as bad as it did in person. I've said that before. Sometimes cameras make it look a little bit better when I try on clothes. But this thing, this thing, it was super stretchy. Like, really, really stretchy. But the issue with that is I felt like it would stretch out really fast and be really unflattering and just look, like, kind of messy and not cute. Um, it did nothing for my figure. It was, it was okay. You know, I didn't like how it really looked on me in the beginning, but it was like, oh, it's cozy. If someone really liked the coziness, it, they did have a bunch of different colors, and if people really like this style, then totally you do you. But this freaking thing was $44.99. Nowhere near worth that price. Nowhere near. Okay, I digress. Um, this next top was actually really cute. It makes me think of Beetlejuice and is similar to the uh, vertical kind of striped dress that I tried on from Astra in my last fashion haul. Um, I thought it was really adorable, but once again, it just was kind of big and fit awkwardly. Now, I feel like if I went down a size, it might have been too tight across my boobs and just clung weird, but then it, this size was too big. So it was kind of a weird piece, um, but I really did like the pattern. I thought that it was pretty, like, slimming the pattern-wise. I just wish it didn't look so frumpy and just kind of, like, like I unclean. You know, I wanted to look a little bit more tailored, but still really cute, and this could totally just be my body type. So go ahead and try it on, because I do think it's a nice top. It just didn't look good on me, but it may very well fit your guys' body types perfectly. Um, however, it still was $24.99, a little bit expensive, but definitely a little bit better than the other pieces, but I don't know if it was worth $24.99, and that's why I gave it a thumbs down. Now this thing... <laughs> I actually really did end up liking at the end, but I ended up getting the size up, which I didn't intend to do, and so it was definitely too big. It was also $34.99, but of all the pieces, I honestly felt like this was worth it. I really liked the way it looked, and I felt like it was nice quality. 
If this was belted and a size smaller, I think this could look really, really cute. Once again, an amazing transitional piece. I also think this would look be great if you are recently pregnant or just had a baby and just want something that's not fussy and really easy just to throw on and be comfortable with. I really liked the print and the pattern. They had a bunch of different ones as well if this wasn't your vibe again. But I just love, I love that mustard color. You guys know that. But I really liked it belted. I think this would be really cute with a really nice nice like cognac brown belt and some like little booties perfect for fall now this I look like Larry the cucumber and I couldn't stop laughing I look like Big Bird and then Larry and the music here was jamming it was like stranger things on blast like so many good 80s bops I was living anyway <laughs> um, I actually didn't hate this um, I just didn't know I didn't know how I felt this was an extra large and I think this is an exclusive like oldnavy.com um, so I couldn't tell you exactly the price. I just don't like culotte kind of pants on me. I like jumpsuits. I just like when they don't cut me off at the angles. I naturally have wider legs and kind of like cankles. So I just, it doesn't help the figure. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think this is the worst thing in the world. And I think with some shapewear, it actually would look pretty cute with some like wedges. But just initially, I felt like Larry the Cucumber from VeggieTales, and after my Big Bird experience, it just was a thing. But I don't hate it. I think it could be tailored. I think it could be really cute, and with like a denim jacket over with over it, it could be really cute. I liked the material a lot. It was like this kind of almost ribbing. Um, I think that you could easily get away with this in the office if you live in a more casual work office environment. This dress, however, I loved. It made me think of like Allie from The Notebook. It was so pretty. Once again, it's that kind of swing dress vibe Old Davy does so well. It was a faux wrap dress, but the tie did um, untie, just didn't actually fully unwrap. Um, I will say that I was a little bit booby in this, so I would definitely wear like a cami underneath it, but still really pretty, super stretchy. I think this would actually be really nice for nursing, and again, pregnant mommy friendly because of how stretchy and I think how cute it would like cradle a belly bump. Um, but I thought this was beautiful and it was really comfortable and it's a nice really summery piece but isn't overly like patriotic or anything that just screams summertime. You could easily get away with this in the fall as well. By the way, everything I did try on was in an extra large besides that plaid dress which is in a 2X and was obviously way too big. I feel like everything fit me pretty well if not a little bit big um, but that's probably the size that I would gravitate towards still to. Um, I liked it and I would recommend this dress. Thought it was beautiful. $39.99. Still a little steep though. Still a little steep. Alright, so let's talk about my thoughts. Does somebody instantly get in their car and put on their seatbelt even if they're not going anywhere? I have always done that. I have never been a person to ever not have my seatbelt on. I'm such a freaky, like, weirdly safety person when it comes to cars. I'm, like, terrified of car accidents. I've been in way too many and... Okay, that's not the point of this video. Okay. Moving on. So, my consensus on Old Navy. Um, first off, I was kind of excited when I walked in because they have tons of sale signs and like everywhere and normally when I walk into Old Navy that's they'll have like a sale sign here and there but it's not like all over and the clearance section was like there's so much stuff so like oh they're gonna be such great deals and I just feel like everything is so overpriced I feel like the prices went way way higher like just like even that sweater I showed you was like $45 which is crazy because the quality is nowhere near that and I know that Old Navy like at least in store but really online does offer pretty good deals normally you can get like 30% off pretty regularly and um, there's always a sale going on online and I don't know how often that's transferring into stores. In the past, it wasn't always the same. Like you'd, I'd always normally shop in stores. Like if I found something I liked in store, then I would buy it online, just because I felt like the pricing was better. Um, but I just feel like their prices have gone a lot higher, and for things that I just don't think are worth it, even close. Like most everything I tried on was over thirty dollars. Um, and even like their basic t-shirts are like $19 here. Like it's just crazy to me. I think that their prices are just way too high for the quality. I don't think they're poor quality by any means. I'm not saying that they're like super, super cheap, but I don't think that they're, I think there's like a difference versus like Torrid or I just did like my Astra haul. Like their prices are a bit higher, but I think the quality is absolutely there and you can feel it just on like 
first touch whereas Old Navy is pretty generic and I just feel like their prices are just crazy expensive another thing is after walking in I vividly remember a plus size section in this store and it was smaller but it was still there and it was completely gone I found zero plus size items um, granted everything I tried on besides one item was an extra large so I could fit in the straight sizes but it's frustrating for women who can't fit in the straight sizes or like prefer the plus size cut in general because I will say a lot of the things I tried on were just not cut for my body type at all even though they fit and even though some a lot of them were actually like baggier it just wasn't fitting right because it wasn't cut for me so I don't know I, I have like a love-hate relationship with Old Navy there are certain pieces that I think total wins like I loved that blue wrap dress I thought it was stunning I liked the material it was made out of I thought it was comfortable I felt like the price was still a little high but I definitely could have got it on sale I loved that one but all, a lot of the other things I'm just like no no thanks I love their kids clothes I will continue to buy from them for their kids clothes I think their kids clothes are really really cute um, but other than that I don't know how often if really ever that I will buy anything for, for me personally I didn't find anything I liked unless they do like a big overhaul and start changing a lot of their things I just don't feel like they did I just spit I'm sorry you saw that. <laughs> I always like notice when people spit when they talk they like don't either realize it or they just completely ignore it sorry if I spit that was like oh you know because I do it too I'm just like oh you know it's like a natural thing it's just like you know get you off guard anyway so long story short I didn't buy anything I was disappointed um, they had a lot of beautiful prints a lot of beautiful cuts it just didn't work for me and I just think the prices were outrageous so that's my opinion on that um, yeah so tell me below where you would like me to try on next I was trying to see if we have a Rue 21 near us but I don't know if they have a plus size section so I was trying to see if maybe I should go there I know that American Eagle is now expanding their line one of you so sweetly DM'd me and told me that they're carrying up to I believe a size 24 um, and that's really awesome really exciting I hope that in store they'll expand their uh, line to plus sizes um, I'm just flabbergasted that more stores don't have plus size ranges like they would gain so much more money it's crazy to me so um, anyway but if you guys are interested on a certain store please let me below or if you want me to do a try on haul from a store online let me below if let me know below are you guys over summer clothes like would you want to see a swimsuit haul or are you ready for me to move into fall clothes honestly I'm ready for the fall bit but if you'd still like to see like swimsuits like if you still go are you growing gonna go out of town soon or you still like want to buy swimsuits let me know um, because I can do swimsuit haul I don't know it's up to you just let me know I, I like to do what you guys want to see and I just love trying clothes so that's that I hope you enjoyed this video I would really love it if you hit that subscribe button and if you aren't following me on Instagram please do so I love to see you guys I love accommodating you and I just it makes me feel my it warms my heart I don't know um, it just feels like it feels like more real I guess because YouTube can feel kind of like a a vacuum almost like it's just like a time warp in a bubble and like when you expand onto like Instagram it just feels more real um, so please follow me on Instagram if you would like at Sarah England and um, I think that's it I think that's all I had to tell you I will see you guys all very soon in my next video bye guys